Well, hey, welcome YouTube. And uh, this is my, the last two watches I wanna review. They're nothing special, but uh, this is the Timex Weekender. Uh, give me one second. Uh, I purchased this um, and then I replaced the band with the Clockwork Synergy 20 millimeter tether strap. It's kind of a suede texture, let's see. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice watch. Um, I'll wear it on the weekends if I'm gonna go to the store and grab something real quick. It's nothing fancy, expensive, uh, flashy, but it's a Timex and it's a watch company and it's not something like Michael Kors or DKNY or some of these fashion brands. So I think it's more of a watch than those, even though it's cheap, like, I don't know, 30 bucks I think I paid for it. Um, I love the band. Um, if, let's see, it's a quartz watch. It's pretty loud if you're sleeping at night and the room is quiet. You can hear it ticking from across the room, but it's not too bad. I usually, whenever I'm not wearing it, I uh, pull the crown out and stop it. You know, just to save battery, even though it's a cheap watch. Um, and the noise also. It's not too thick. I mean, it's a very nice watch, you know. If you want something that looks classic and don't want to spend a lot of money, um, I would say go for it. And uh, it's a 38 millimeter, but I'll show you the difference here. See, both of them are 38 millimeters. The Timex is looks smaller, the reason why it has a thicker bezel. The Hamilton has a thin bezel, so and it's all face, and it has those long hour markers and the hands extend all the way to the edge. So it gives it a, an effect that it's a, it's a way bigger watch, but it's, they're the same size. And this one wears bigger also, it looks that way. And um, yeah, it's a very nice watch. I, I like it a lot and I don't care if it's not, you know, a couple hundred dollars or thousands or not a Swiss brand. It is a watch brand, so watch company. All right, and the second, uh, the fourth watch I have here, it's the G-Shock. Um, I was in the military and I used G-Shock and they're very good watches. I did multiple tours with them and with one watch actually, and it lasted me the whole four and a half years I was in. And um, yeah, I like uh, G-Shocks for when I go hiking or camping or any outdoor activity out in the mountains or shooting. Cause it, you know, I don't want to wear one of these while I'm shooting because the shock. Uh, it's an ABC watch, altimeter, temperature, barometer. Yeah, and um, it's a. Uh, it also picks up the time signal, and it resets it, uh, reset the time every night. Let's see, that's the compass. It's good to know how to know, uh, figure out directions without the compass at all, using the sun or whatever your surroundings. Um, that's the barometer, altimeter. But it's good to have a second backup. And uh, I usually use a regular compass. I use this as a second backup. And I've never used it actually to, for, for the compass. Um, the barometer is useful, I love that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it's a it's a good watch. It takes a beating. Um, I've had it for a while, and it still looks brand spanking new. There's no. I could probably sell this as a new watch. So it takes a beating really well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this for my outdoors activity. It's solar powered. So I don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. Maybe long years and years after. Um, waterproof also. It's a Rangeman Casio Rangeman. And uh, yeah, it's a very big watch. I think it's like 48 millimeters, very thick. I was also looking at a Tissot um, T-Touch, but I don't wanna, if I'm gonna use a Tissot, I don't wanna take it out in the, you know, in the wild, I guess. and spend so much money and have it you know messed up this was like i think i spent a little over 200 on amazon which isn't a bad deal at all for what you're getting 
So yeah, these are my four watches. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or whatever, uh, leave them in a the comment. And um, yeah, subscribe. I'll try to make more videos. Thank you.